Hey guys, happy Tuesday and welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Wendy and I hope you're having a lovely day so far and I hope your week is off to a great start as well. We're going to dive right into today's haul and I'm going to show you guys the goods that I found this week starting with my favorite find this Disney bag. I am obsessed with it. I think it is gorgeous and I actually found this at checkout. Every week I like to check um, and see if there's any new tote bags. And I found this one and it's so nice to see the Disney villains get the recognition they deserve because I think that so often we see like the Disney heroes on these bags and apparel. So it's really nice that they get the spotlight and this bag is just so gorgeous, you guys. I love how they did like the pops of neon color and then like this paint splatter in the background. I just think it's so gorgeous. So I can't believe I found this at the Dollar Tree. And then this one is actually a repurchase for me. This came out last year and I did cut it out and put it in a frame. And I did put that in my son's bedroom because he love star wars we all do but he is like the biggest fan in our household so i picked up another one so we could have this bag and then i found the avengers bag and avengers or like disney's avengers campus is opening up at disneyland california adventure i think on june 4th so this would be like a cute bag maybe if you're going to take there to like haul around your souvenirs. So I did pick up that. Also in the checkout section, the seashell lip glosses are back. So I picked up all four that I saw. These would be great for a like little girl's gift, gift bag or gift basket goodie bag. I found vanilla scented, strawberry scented, grape scented, and cotton candy scented. So these are super cute. My daughter loves when I get these little lip glosses for her. I also found a few more Disney items at checkout this week. I found some nail stickers and some puffy princess stickers as well as this Disney princess scented lip gloss. So I thought this would be really cute to put together a little goodie bag for my daughter, so I picked up those. I found the cutest little home decor or tabletop decor this week in the picture frame section. If you're doing the whole bee theme trend this year, this is so cute. It's just, again, like a little frame tabletop decor or you can hang it up. And then I found this one. You are powerful, beautiful, brilliant, and brave, which I think would be really cute in a little girl's room. I'm definitely going to put this in my daughter's room. So picked up those and then I found these two. If you're doing a lemon theme and then this pineapple one is so cute. Be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown and be sweet on the inside. These are so cute. I would definitely put these in maybe like a tiered tray. All right, now let's move on to some crafting finds and supplies that I picked up this week like these wooden plaques that I found in the crafter square section. You guys look at how thick these pieces of wood are. And I'm sorry about the lighting again. It's very overcast, so I do have to have my lights on very bright. So this is blinding you, I apologize. But they all have this really beautiful routed border on them. This one is a five by seven piece. So you could do maybe like a Mod Podge like picture transfer on this. That would be a really cool um, little craft. And look at how thick these are, you guys. These are super thick and lumber and wood is not cheap right now. So the fact that this is at Dollar Tree for a dollar is pretty amazing. So again, I picked up two um, of each of those and then I did find some wooden dowels. I got 10 or this package of 10. Picked up those for some crafting. And then I think that was it in like the crafter square section. Oh wait, no, these magnetic buttons, which I've picked up before, but I can't find them for some reason in my craft 
room or area. I can't find them, so I picked up another package of those. And the last couple of crafting items I picked up this week, I found this chalkboard in the stationary section or like teaching tree office supply section of Dollar Tree. So I picked up that. That will make a nice blank for a DIY. And then some paint brushes. I do find these in the tool bench or hardware section of Dollar Tree. These are great for crafting. And then random item of the haul is this funnel set. You get three of them in there. I picked this up in the cooking section. I have a bird feeder with a very, very small opening to refill it with bird seed and I always have to make like a paper funnel to fill it so I decided to pick up some of those for that bird feeder. Let me show you guys some new stickers that I found this week. I love Dollar Tree's stickers. I collect them all if you are new to my channel. I found these new ones by Jot. These are all puffy stickers. And again, you guys, I apologize about the lighting. It's probably going to be kind of blinding, but look at how big these puffy stickers are. They almost look like a balloon. So I love these. I picked up those and I'll probably use those bigger ones and give them to my daughter. I found a llama set. You get five in there. And again, these look like they're so puffy. They look like they're balloons like those foiled blow up balloons. And then this one is really cute. Happy birthday, you can make a card with this or maybe decorate a package. And then I found some fruit, puffy fruit. Love that one. And then these ones that all kind of have like this retro, theme to them like this one with the cassette tape and the roller skates and the coffee really love that one and then this one was really cute as well and the colors just are not picking up on these stickers in the camera just because of the light setting that I think that I have on right now but oh, these are so cute and I also found some stickers in my crafter square section I found this art set, really cute, found that one. Then I found this summer set. I love the ice cream cone and the umbrella on this one. Those are probably my favorite things. And these all have a like little square mounting foam piece. So these are meant to be like a pop-up sticker for maybe scrapbooking. And then I found this movie set. I really like this one. That one's probably one of my favorites as well. And then I found this summer set with the lemonade and the flamingos. I love flamingos. I love all birds, so I had to pick this one up. All right, moving on. And I did my best to organize this haul, but it looks like we're kind of jumping around everywhere. In the tool bench section, I picked up these adhesive wall tiles. So I got this one and like this rock looking one. And I actually have passed these up several times. I just don't have any use for them. But I think my brother saw one of my Instagram stories because he um, called me and said, next time you're at Dollar Tree, can you pick me up those adhesive wall tiles? Um, because I think he wants to do make some sort of like mold or something with them out of cement. I'm not exactly sure, but I didn't know which one he wanted. So I just got both of them. So I did pick those up for him. And then I got some all clear surface cleaning wipes. I picked these up to clean off my desk when I'm crafting. I don't think this is an excellent value because you only get 30 in there, but I did purchase these purely out of convenience to keep in my desk to clean it off. And then I found these new reusable cold packs and I did find these in the like the medicine aisle and so i found a soccer ball a ladybug and a turtle and i think these are great especially if you have a child that is in sports you can put one of these in the freezer and then pop it into the ice chest 
when you're out at a like a soccer game or a baseball game or something like that in case they get hurt you have a cold pack ready to go for them so i did pick those up i got five graduation cards out of the like handmade card little stand that I found at the front of the store. And I tried to pick out ones that didn't have the year 2021 on them so I can use them for other years. And actually two of these I did pick up for my sister-in-law who just graduated with her doctorate. And then I did pick up one for my husband as well because he will be graduating in August with his um, bachelor's degree. So two of them I did pick up for them, but I found this one which was so beautiful. I love the pop out holographic graduation caps on that one. And then I found this one for some reason, this one gives me like 1920s vibes or like Great Gatsby for some reason. I really love this one. And then I had to pick up this one just because of the hot air balloon on it. And it is like a pop up on that one and then this one was really cute as well i love the hand-drawn elements in the background on the graph paper and then i found this one which was gorgeous with the map on the back so really cute handmade um graduation cards this year next i picked up these crayola coloring packs or kits and i like to pick these up for my daughter to throw in my bag for when we're maybe taking a long drive somewhere and sometimes restaurants don't have like a child's menu or like color crayons and stuff for them so i like to have these handy in my bag just so she's not bored these are also great for places like the california dmv where you have to sit there for five hours to renew your driver's license and you have to bring your kid these are great for that too I found the cutest little glue sticks this week by Jot. I found the frogs and the chicks. And I think these would be great for like a raffle basket at a school if you're doing like an arts and crafts raffle basket, or if you have like a kindergartner, first, second grader, I think they would really enjoy these to go to school with. I just think they're so cute. I will also be looking out for more characters. And then I found some new Crayola markers. These are project poster markers. And what intrigued me about these was the fact that they can show up on black poster board or black like um, cardstock, but they can show up vibrant like this. That's what it claims. So I was like, what kind of Harry Potter wizard magic is going on here? So I had to pick them up and I found three different color combinations. So I found white and red, purple and pink, and then blue and green. I can't wait to try these out and see if they work on my black cardstock. Like it claims it will just show up just like it does on white paper. That's magic to me. That is science. Love that. So next I found some LED tapered candles and I can't always find these kinds of candles, at least at my Dollar Trees. The candles are sometimes really hard to find the LED, LED light ones. Those and then the um, floating candles, those are always really hard to find. So I was excited to find these LED tapered candles. I found another bee themed item this week, this bee clipboard with the honeycombs and then this writing on here that just says be positive, buzzing and honeybee. I love this. I thought it was super cute. It is like a really thick cardboard, so it's not like excellent quality. If you get this wet, it's definitely going to warp FYI. And then I found a new adult coloring book in like the word finds section or like coloring book section. And I just thought this was so beautiful. The images in here, so cute. You have some wine glasses, this honey pot, which is really cute. Some bow ties. So these are just like sketches that you can color. And I just absolutely love adult coloring books. I recently bought a Disney Thomas Kincaid coloring book and another one um, from Amazon. 
And I just really enjoy adult coloring or coloring on adult these adult coloring books because it's just really relaxing. For me, I usually keep them in my nightstand. So just really, really fun, beautiful images in this coloring book. Look at this one. So I was really excited to find that. And the last section of this haul is all going to be hair accessories or like beauty items. I love Dollar Tree's hair accessories. They are the best in my opinion for the price. I found some new headbands. I didn't realize this one actually comes with two in here, two to a pack. I love this like snake print on there, even though I don't, I don't really like snakes. I'm kind of like terrified of them, but I love the print. And then I found this black one that has this kind of bandana look to it with the link on the top. And then I found blue. I think I actually already own the blue one, but I found a blue one as well. I love Dollar Tree's headbands. And then I found this new headband by Scunchy. It's called Sincerely Jewels. Look how gorgeous this headband is. It is beautiful. Found that and also by Scunchy in that Sincerely Jewels line. I found this scrunchie that has this print on it. Just $1 at Dollar Tree. That's amazing. And then I found some of these fun scrunchies that have this pearl, this dangling pearl detail on there with the gold hoop. I just love these. There's a couple of other prints as well but I liked these, these ones the most. They have a very, very like baby blue one as well. Picked those up and then I got some new clips. These are like salon, like alligator clips to kind of hold your hair back or pin it back. Really cute, picked those up. And then these ones, these headbands I picked up for my daughter. You get a pack of six of these headbands and look at all of the different colors that you get. At Walmart, these would go for maybe like three, four dollars in their little hair accessory section with the like girls clothing. And I actually bought a couple of different headbands. They weren't like this from Walmart, but like they were like the big Jojo. She's like obsessed with Jojo right now. They were like her, I guess, line of headbands. And then I found these really cute pearl headbands. Probably going to have to be careful with these because they are individual um, like bead, beads strung on here. So it looks like this bottom part is secured pretty well so they won't all come off. But I just thought these were so cute. So cute for a little girl. And then I found this name brand Garnier Frutis one minute hair mask tub and it's pretty big you can definitely get a lot of different hair treatments with this this says yeah it's a one minute hair mask for um, color vibrancy treatment it says a vegan formula 94 percent biodegradable formula which is kind of interesting um, no silicones, no parabens, no artificial colorants. So picked that up for $1. And the last two items are some name brand makeup. If you guys watched my haul last week, I found a bunch of Wet n Wild products. And then this week I found the Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And I found the shade or the combination Caramel Toffee. This is the only like, I guess, color combination that I found, but I've heard really good things about this contour palette. And I believe it's still being sold at places like Target, CVS, um, and makeup stores. And then I found this Flush Revlon Thick Stick Foundation Shade. And it's pretty small, pretty small packaging. And I got the color 08 custard which is an interesting 
shade name, but that's the color that I got. I think I only saw like three or four different shades. But if you find that it doesn't, if something doesn't necessarily like match your, I guess, skin tone, then you can maybe think about using it as like a contour shade or as maybe like a concealer or like a lid um, primer. So that's what I like to do when something doesn't necessarily match, but I have no idea if this is going to match um, at all, <laughs> but I just wanted to pick up one. I didn't want to pick up a bunch of different colors. All right, guys, that's it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And if you aren't currently subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you consider clicking that subscribe button on your way out, especially if you love Dollar Tree hauls, because I post new ones every Tuesday and Friday. So I'd love to have you here. Until my next video, I hope you guys all have an amazing day. And I'll see you in my next one.